on today's video, I will be showing you how I made this dress that I'm wearing today. But before we get started, I want to greet you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I can't believe we are almost at the end of the year. This year has been so wonderful and I hope the new year is going to be just as wonderful as well oh my gosh i am super happy today i am extra glowy don't you think so did you notice yeah i just absolutely love this dress it makes me super glowy and inspired with that being said let's go ahead and get started so the first thing i did was fold the fabric in half and i placed the pattern on fold so this is going to be the front bodice one of my viewers requested that I should do a cotton fabric material, so that is why I decided to do this project. Now I will be cutting the back bodices. It will have two pieces. If you notice, I added extra one inch on the back seam right here so I can add a zipper. And if you want to learn how to install an invisible zipper the proper way, I already have a tutorial on that. I will have the link in the description box below, at the end screen, and in the info card right here. Pick one, it will direct you straight to the tutorial. I'm cutting out the bottom of the dress so I fold the fabric in half and I place the pattern on fold and I added extra one inch seam allowance for the zipper and plus I haven't used this pattern in a while so I wasn't sure if it still fit me that's why I decided to add that extra one inch Yes, you guessed it I already have a tutorial on how to make a circle skirt pattern I'm going to have the link in the description box below or at the end screen by the way you guys I know I don't always mention this on my sewing tutorials but it is important to pre shrink your fabric this panel is only going to be one piece the next step is sewing the darts After that, I am going to join the shoulder seams. I'm also going to do the same on the neck facing. And then I place the facing on the right side of the neckline. And I'm going to pin it along the edges, matching the shoulder seams as well. And then I am going to sew it all the way to here. After I have sewn the facing, I also searched the raw edges, but that is optional. Now I am going to be doing an understitch. Make sure that the raw edges are facing up. Here I am just sewing as close to the seam as possible. The reason for understitching is so when you wear the garment, the facing will not stick out. It will basically stay in place. Now it's time to join the side seams. Next step is joining the bodice and the skirt panels together. Be sure to find the center of the bodice and the center of the skirt and then pin it. Right sides of the fabrics are facing each other. base stitch it first just so I can try it on to make sure that the dress will fit me and it will close properly I ended up removing the darts at the back just because it was a little tight it fits me but it was just a little too tight for my liking I already have a tutorial on how to finish the armholes so if you want to go ahead and watch that it's going to be up here on the info card now it's time to install the invisible zipper. I already have a separate tutorial on how to do this. It was a detailed tutorial. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, it will be at the end screen or in the info card right here. It's time to close the back of the skirt. So I'm going to match the raw edges. I am going to sew as close to the end of the zipper as possible. 
So I'm just going to match this right here and I'm going to trim off the excess zipper later on. So from here all the way down. Started sewing at the hemline going up. Manageable that way just because the zipper end is not on the way. All I have to do is finish the neck facing. I'm simply going to fold it like so and I'm going to hand stitch it all the way to the other end. Also going to finish the hemlines of the skirt and the dress is done. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you like this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I upload new videos every week. See you soon. Bye!